So today we are going to learn about the anatomy of retina. Retina is the innermost layer of eyeball. It is a neurosensory layer. It is thin, delicate and transparent membrane which is contain most highly developed tissue of the eye. Let's talk about gross anatomy of retina in which the first topic is optic disc which is also known as optic nerve head which is pink in color well defined vertically oval area. A depression seen in the disc is called as physiological cup. The central retinal artery and vein emerge through the center of this cup. Because of absence of photoreceptors that is rods and cones, the optic disc produces an absolute scotoma in the visual field and it is called as physiological blind spot. Let's talk about macula. It is also called as yellow spot. It is situated at the posterior pole temporal to the optic disc. It contains fovea centralis. Its name suggests that centralis means what? It is the central and depressed part of the macula. It is the most sensitive part of the retina because it contains higher concentrations of cone cells and gives the best vision. The tiny depression at the center of fovea is called as umbo. Let's talk about the very important topic. Actually, retina extends from optic disc to ora serrata. So, we are going to talk about something that is very special, ora serrata. Ora serrata is the anterior termination of retina. That's why we can say that it is the junction between choroid and pars plana. The point that we say that is ora serrata is important because it is used for site of intravitreal injection. But by looking at normal eye, can we identify the point ora serrata? No, we can't identify that point. But we know that we can identify the point limbus and the distance between limbus and ora serrata is nearly 6 mm and the best site of intravitreal injection 4 mm posterior to limbus. In that area, there is absence of nerve cells and there is no damage to retina. That's why it is very important point for intravitreal injection. So guys, it is all about gross anatomy of retina. Let's talk about microscopic structures. Retina consists of 10 layers arranged in two distinct functional components, the pigment epithelium and the neurosensory retina with a potential space between the two that is called as subretinal space. Retina contain 10 layers. And uh, we have a very simple mnemonic for that, that is in new generation, it is only ophthalmologist examine patient's retina. Once again, in new generation, it is only ophthalmologist examine patient's retina. The first one that is I, I for inner limiting membrane, new, N for nerve fiber layers, generation, G for ganglion cell layer, it, I for inner plexiform layer. Once again, I, I for inner nuclear layer, O, outer plexiform layer. Once again, O, outer nuclear layer, E, external limiting membrane, P, photoreceptor layer, and R, R for retinal pigmented epithelium layer. So, this is all about the anatomy of retina. I will make another video. Uh, and uh, in which I will give all details about 10 layers which is very important for your competitive exams like NEET, AIMS or GIPMAR. Thank you.